Hey everyone, Tanya with Gateway Greeting here, and today I'm going to show you a really fun experiment you can do to tell if the soil in your garden or in your schoolyard is healthy for growing plants. Soil is important to a plant's health because it provides plants with both water and nutrients that are necessary for healthy growth. Believe it or not, today we're going to use underwear to tell if the soil in our garden is healthy. The Soil Your Undies experiment involves burying a pair of cotton underwear then returning to the location two months later to dig them up and see what remains. The Soil Your Undies Challenge was recently popularized by American farmers to help promote the importance of healthy soil, but it's also a great activity to use with children in the garden to learn about soil microbe health. If you've learned the recipe for soil, you'll know that soil is made up of water, air, rocks, and organic matter, like dead plant parts. But that's not all there is to soil. Did you know soil is actually alive? Soil also requires tiny living things to eat on the organic matter and rocks and help break it down into smaller pieces that we know as soil. These things are called decomposers. Some decomposers are so tiny that we would need a microscope in order to see them. So we call these decomposers microorganisms. Scientists believe there are more microorganisms in a teaspoon of soil than there are humans on Earth. By doing the Soil Your Undies experiment, we will get to learn just how many microorganisms we may have living in our soil. For this experiment, you will need two pairs of cotton underwear, a hand trowel or shovel for digging, a piece of paper or a Soil Your Undies worksheet, a pencil or writing utensil, two garden signs or labels, access to two undisturbed areas of soil outdoors, and finally, because we're going to be burying these and then revisiting them, Later, to see how they've changed, you will need to allow two months' time. Before you start the experiment, try brainstorming why you think it is important that we use cotton clothing for this experiment, instead of a synthetic or man-made material like polyester or nylon. Hmm, where does cotton come from? You guessed it, a plant. And what is it that decomposers like to eat? If you said organic matter or dead plants, you're right. We'll begin our experiment by identifying our first location to bury our first pair of underwear. You'll want to make sure it's a spot that will be undisturbed for the next two months. Using a hand trowel or a shovel, dig a hole that's about six to eight inches deep. Once your hole is dug, place the underwear in the hole and cover it back up with soil. Be sure to clearly label the site with the date that you buried them and a name like location number one. After you've buried the underwear, take a few moments to observe the soil in the location. Then, using a notebook or a garden journal worksheet, write or draw what you think will happen to the buried underwear when you dig them up in two months. How do you think the microorganisms might affect the underwear? You can record your observations using a notebook, a piece of paper and a clipboard, or you can download this free worksheet from the Gateway Greening website. Next, we will repeat that process at a second location in the schoolyard or garden. Once you've identified your second location, dig another hole that's six to eight inches deep and bury your second pair of underwear. Remember to label this site as well, with a new name like location number two and the date that you buried them. Once again, take a few moments to observe the soil in the area and record your predictions using pictures or words on what you think the underwear and location two will look like in two months. Do you think it will be similar or different than the underwear from location one? Why or why not? So now that we've buried both pairs, labeled the locations, and recorded our predictions, all we can do is wait. 
stay tuned for part two of this video when we come back in two months and dig up our underwear to see if our predictions were correct. To find this lesson and download the worksheet we used, you can go to our website at gatewaygreeting.org, uh, go under education and find the Seed to STEM curriculum. Thanks so much. See you in two months.